This is Turno 18A's video on how to build an X-Drive. We use an X-Drive so that we can strafe along the troughs without getting caught on stacks like an H-Drive does. They can also turn faster than a normal drive and can drive on a diagonal. This chassis is built from four self-contained wheel modules and can be built with big or small wheels without too much difference in build time or effort. Small wheels give the robot a lower centre of gravity which makes it less likely to over. They have more torque than big wheels and less inertia to overcome when you start driving. Big wheels are faster than small wheels when you're driving at full capacity and they drive over stacks much easier than small wheels. They make your chassis higher too, which can sometimes be the difference between reaching and not reaching in a high goal. I chose to use small wheels for my competition robot for the low centre of gravity and the torque. We make our X-Drives by building four separate motor modules which we can attach together to make the chassis. This way, if anything goes wrong, we only have to take apart a module instead of the whole chassis. We build each motor module using two C channels, each about 10 holes long and a few standoff, and whatever spaces we need to fill the gap. Because motors come loose quite often in competition use, our drive motors can be accessed for tightening with a maximum of four screws. If you put a collar on each end of the axle, you can take the whole axle out without losing any spaces. This way it only takes us a minute to tighten or replace a motor. The direction you mount your motors in will change the width of the gap for your intake. Mounting them both as far back as possible on the channel will maximise the size. So here we have two finished modules which you can then attach together to start making a chassis. So once you have four modules, you can start attaching them together. We attach them together using 45 degree gussets to keep them in the right shape. If you play connect the dots with the points where the wheels touch the ground, they should form a bisymmetrical X shape. This means the robot will turn on its centre point. We use nylocks on the chassis because it means we have to do less maintenance work during the competition. We use a standard motor configuration within the teams that make programming easier. Many of the other teams use the same format. This minimises the problem of tripping breakers by spreading the load over the cortex. We plug the left hand drive motors into ports 2 and 3 and the right into ports 8 and 9. 